Looking for a camper that can sleep up to five people? Well, stick around, folks. We found three awesome trailers that have bunk beds, convertible dinettes, everything you need to sleep up to five people. This travel trailer is the Olympia Sport model number 18BH. It sleeps up to five people, has an unloaded vehicle weight of 3,490 pounds, a gross vehicle weight rating of 4,450 pounds for a cargo carry capacity of just 960 pounds. And it measures in at 22 feet, four inches long. When you first walk into this travel trailer on the right hand side, you have your bedroom set up, then you have your dinette, with bunk beds behind it. Across from that, you've got your whole kitchen area and at the very back of the trailer is where the bathroom is located. At the front end of this camper is where the bed is located and this is actually considered a short full-size bed. It's 74 inches long by 56 inches wide. Also, one thing to note is underneath of the bed, there's a lot of storage space down below there. So that's really fantastic. Also, you'll note on the right hand side here is a nice big wardrobe closet that's nice and deep. It probably goes back about three feet. It's got a bar up top so you can hang things. And then down below that, there's a little full extension drawer here for putting things away. There's also some receptacles on the right hand side here so you can charge things while you're in bed. Overhead, there's also lots and lots of storage room up top and over the bed. Also, at one end of the bed, there's a nice window that can open so you can get a cross ventilation through here. And then just above that is the TV location with receptacles, cable hookups, and everything. The, the TV does pull out and swivel so that you can see it from the dinette area as well. Just beyond the bed is where the dinette is located. And this dinette is a pretty comfortable dinette. I would say you could fit four people in here, relatively comfortable. Um, it's a little bit on the small side, but it's not terrible. Also, the table will drop down and this will convert into another bed that maybe one child could sleep in. Above the dinette, you've got a nice big window and then you've got these cabinets above and I'm a little bit, I don't really get it. These cabinets are not very deep and then they have this solid panel in the middle so you can't even access this area at all. So if I was redesigning this camper, I would make these cabinets come out further off the wall, maybe put a third door in the middle, and then you have access to everything and really take full advantage of that space for storage. One area that they did do a great job on is underneath each of the dinette benches. There is storage under there. You just have to remove all of the pillows and then pull up the plywood and you can get to the storage under the dinette booths. Directly across from the dinette, we have the kitchen area, and this is a nice inline kitchen setup. Everything's all in one line from the sink to the refrigerator. It's a very convenient setup for cooking and doing things inside your camper. Now, first of all, you'll notice it has got a gigantic rectangle sink in here. I don't think that it has covers on it though, which it really should have so that you can have additional countertop space in here because there's really not a lot. What they did is they took these two burners and I think they pushed them too far off of this wall and they chewed up some of the countertop space that you might be able to enjoy otherwise. So if this was more off to the side and we had maybe a smaller sink, you could have some more countertop space in here. But it is what it is and it certainly works for what it is. Now down below, there's a lot of storage underneath of the cooktop area and also underneath of the kitchen sink. And then of course you have a couple of drawers here for all of your kitchen utensils. Up above the kitchen countertop, you've got a nice big cabinet here with a built-in shelf. This is not adjustable. I wish it was, but it's not, but that will still work just fine. And then next to that, you've got your microwave oven. And then finally, you've got a pretty good size refrigerator and separate freezer back here. It's a good size for this size trailer and it'll keep all your cold items nice and chilly. Down below the refrigerator, there's even more storage space. The bunk beds are behind the dinette and they are pretty good bunks. They're not great because they're missing one important thing, but they each have their own window and they also each have their own light and they each have a cargo net where you can pop your phone in there overnight so you don't lose it. But what they don't have are USB ports so the kids can charge their devices or play their games at night. So here I am in the bathroom in the very back of this travel trailer, and it's a decent sized bathroom. It's got a bathtub and a shower, 
and a commode. There's no sink in here, but you can always wash your hands in the kitchen sink. Now the bathtub's decent size. It's got about a 16 inch step up and over. So for those of you that can't manage to pull that off, you're gonna need to look at a different trailer, but it's about 40 inches wide and just about two feet deep. And when you're standing in here, I'm 5'11", there's a good six inches over my head. So I would say if you're six foot five or so, you would be fine in this shower. Now it's a very, very basic shower. It just has a wand that you can remove from the wall. There's no soap holders, no shampoo holders, none of that stuff, just very basic. No medicine cabinet, just a mirror on the wall. But the commode itself and the elbow test, hey, we're in pretty good shape in here. This travel trailer is the Winnebago Micro Mini Flex, model number 2100BH. Sleeps five people, has an unloaded vehicle weight of just 3,860 pounds, a gross vehicle weight rating of 5,500 pounds, and a cargo carry capacity of 1,640 pounds. And it measures in at 21 feet, 11 inches long. When you first walk into this RV, you'll notice that on the right-hand side is where the bed is located. And then directly next to that is your dinette area. And then across from the dinette, you've got your kitchen and refrigerator. Behind me here, you'll have the bunk beds and then the bathroom is all the way in the back of this trailer. So the owner's bed is towards the front of the camper and you'll notice that it does go side to side. Now this is 54 inches wide and it's 76 inches long, which makes it a short full-size bed. Now the issue that we have with a bed like this is if both of you are sleeping here, the person that's closest to the to the front wall of the trailer, if they have to get up in the middle of the night and use the bathroom, they have to crawl over the other person. So if you're considering a trailer like that, like this, just keep that in mind when you're looking around. You'll also notice that it's got a window on each side so you get a nice cross ventilation in here. It does have a receptacle and USB jacks, as well as this little cargo net so you could pop your phone in there and keep it out of the way while it's charging overnight. And then up top here, there is additional storage, which is nice and deep in here. So it's a great spot to throw all your clothes and all that good stuff. One other really nice feature is the amount of storage that's underneath of the bed. You've got this door here, which is a small access to it, but you can also get to uh, both sides of this storage under the bed from outside the camper as you have pass-through storage from the outside. The din dinette in here is located in a slide-out, so it really helps to create a lot of room inside of this camper, so I really like that aspect of it. And the nice thing about this dinette too is that you can actually seat four people here. We see so many dinettes where it's like it's meant for four, but there's really no way four people could sit at the table. That's not the case with this one. It's a nice layout. The table also drops down, and so this can be another bed for one more person to sleep. And then, of course, you have a nice big window over top of the dinette, so you can see outside while you're enjoying your meal. Also, they do a nice job and take advantage of the storage underneath of the dinette booths. You have a door on each side with plenty of storage located right underneath the seats. So directly across from the dinette, here we are at the kitchen, and this is what we call an inline kitchen. Everything in the kitchen is in one line. I love this style of kitchen because it's easy to get to everything. If you need something out of the fridge, you grab it, you can put it right on top of your pseudo countertop, and uh, it's just very, very convenient, uh, and I like the setup a lot. Now starting up top here, you've got some control panels and some entertainment value built in as well. And then you have storage cabinets up here. Now with this style of cabinet, I would recommend, this is what we do, we use clear plastic bins that we store all of our stuff in so it doesn't go flying everywhere. So we might have like bread and chips in one and then we might have cans of beans and other stuff in another container so the, the heavy hard stuff doesn't squish our bread. But anyway, that's how you could use that spot. It does come with a convection microwave oven, which is great. You can bake, you can microwave, do all that good stuff. Then it comes with a three burner stove. Very nice, very nicely done. And then down below here, you have lots of storage, pots and pans, and then you have your circuit breakers down below. Over here, you have a drawer that pops out you can put your sponge and things in there and then all of your kitchen utilities can fit very nicely in these plywood drawers that are fully extendable which is a very nice setup these are very quality uh, drawers in here 
and then there's a little more storage space underneath the kitchen sink. Speaking of kitchen sink, this camper has a really nice, big, rectangular, deep, single bowl sink in here. This is fantastic for being able to do the dishes. It has a nice gooseneck faucet with a separate sprayer. And then of course you have your window located right above the kitchen sink. There's a little bit of countertop space off to the side here with a small TV that you could see either from the dinette or from the bed. So it's in a good location. I wish it could be a little bigger, but honestly, how often do you watch TV when you're camping anyway? You know, get outside and have some fun. Um, I believe that this is a charger. You can put your phone right on there. It's not a tower of power. And then if you need more countertop space, they have an extendable countertop right here. So the refrigerator in here is huge for a trailer this size, but it's meant for a family of five to be able to stay in here. So I guess you're gonna need a lot of food items for your camping getaways. It's got a really nice size freezer up top. The refrigerator down below is also a very, very good size. So behind the dinette and sort of across from the refrigerator, here we are at where the bunk beds are located. The top bunk has its own window. It's got a light and it's got a couple of USB ports mounted up on the ceiling. So one kid could stay up here very, very comfortably. And then down below the lower bunk, has the light and the USB ports on the far end. So I guess your head would be down there and your feet would be up here when you're sleeping. It's a little backwards in my opinion, but hey, you know, it still fits and it still works pretty well if one of your kids is down here. One nice feature about this bunk also is that the bunk can flip up towards me and you'll notice that there's a door here. So if you have taller storage items, you can flip up the bunk, get everything in here from the exterior door and store things while you're traveling down the road. When the bunk's in place, there's also additional storage that you can use below the bunk as well. So here I am in the very back of this trailer, which is where the bathroom is located, and I'm half in and half out of the shower. There's about a 12 inch step up to get into the shower back here. And you'll also notice as we zoom in a little bit, there is no sink in this bathroom. It's just a shower and a commode, but for a trailer this size, it's perfectly fine. You can wash your hands in the kitchen sink. Now standing inside the shower, there's really not a lot of height in here. I'm 5'11". There might be three inches over my head. So if you're taller than 6'2", you're really gonna have to crouch down quite a bit to be able to take a shower in here. But the shower itself is a decent size. It's got a spray head that you can pull off and maneuver around without having to keep it in place. So that's a nice feature. And then it does have a shower door that's on a track and the track actually bows out away from the shower. So that gives you a little more space in here as well. Finally, the commode area, when you're sitting on the commode, it eh, doesn't quite pass the elbow test, but it's a decent amount of space in here and I think you'll be comfortable in your bathroom. Here we are outside the camper and a couple of really nice feature that Winnebago has incorporated into this camper are, it's got dual axles on a smaller trailer. The benefit of this is you can carry a lot of weight, you can take it off road, and it's also got a higher ground clearance, which is very important if you're out boondocking and off-roading. And the other really nice thing is that it does come included with solar panels on the roof. So you've got your entire solar setup already included. This travel trailer is the Black Series model number HQ17. It's got an unloaded vehicle weight of 5,952 pounds, an impressive cargo carry capacity of 4,048 pounds for an overall gross vehicle weight rating of 10,000 pounds. It measures in at 24 feet, 3 inches long, and it can sleep up to 5 people. When you first walk inside this RV off to the right hand side, the first thing you'll notice is the queen size bed, which wraps around into the kitchen area. Just across from the kitchen area, we have the dinette area and then bunk beds in the very back of this trailer and a wet bath is included as well. So walking into this camper off to my right hand side is a queen size bed. Now this is a short queen. It's 60 inches wide by 76 inches long. You'll also notice it just looks really, really nice inside of here. I always expected a Black Series RV, which are known for off-roading, to be a little more rugged and not as luxurious. But, I mean, look at this headboard. It looks like a leather design. Really super nice. The cabinetry is outstanding. You just push them and they pop open. And so you have some storage above. Another really nice thing they did is on each side of the bed, it's got these nice reading lights. And then 
you'll notice that on each side there's also a door that you can push in. It's like a black glass door and you can hang items inside of there as well. One other thing to note, on this side of the bed you have some light controls. On the other side of the bed there is a receptacle. Now underneath each of the nightstands there are a couple of drawers and all the drawers are set up so you just push them and they pop open. It's a really nice design. A, a small drawer up top for keys and phones and such and then a door cabinet down below for additional storage and the same exists on the other side of the bed as well. Now you'll notice over my head this is quite the control panel. <laughs> I mean it looks like a rocket ship in here. It's but even labeled one, headquarters. <laughs> it's Yeah it's labeled you know headquarters. One really cool thing about Black Series trailers is that they actually have four tanks inside of them. They have a, a drinking water tank and a general water tank. So the general tank you would take your showers and things like that. Your drinking water is drinking water and then they also have a gray and a black water tank. So they have lots of tank capacity so when you're out boondocking or off-road they have you covered for sure. Here I am standing at the kitchen and um, there's not much countertop space in here so they have this large cover which can be used as your countertop but you flip this up and you'll notice that you've got two propane burners here plus your kitchen sink and this is sort of an airplane faucet design you can move the faucet up and down for storage. Out of this would be your general water and then they have another little faucet over here, which is just going to be drinking water. Up above the kitchen sink and two burner stove, you just push on these doors, they pop right open, and you have some storage above here. Now, one thing I think they overlooked a little bit is that this door does sort of hit the skylight area. So I'm not sure if the door needs to be adjusted down a little bit or if it's just an oversight. Down below, same deal, you push your drawers and they pop open. But one thing I want to point out down here is this isn't really much storage down here, but you'll notice that your water pump is located here, plus all of your water lines run through and also the filter systems here. Now, if you're out doing some wintertime camping, uh, one thing you need to do for sure is keep your cabinet doors open when you're in extremely cold weather so that the warm air inside your camper gets into this space underneath the cabinets and keeps all of this area warm as well. If you close these doors and then you're in really, really cold temperatures, you're at risk for all those pipes freezing. So moving just past the cooktop and the sink, we have a built-in microwave oven above. And then we have a very good size refrigerator and freezer down below. This is a three-way fridge, so you can use it in all sorts of conditions. And with different energy sources as well. Now, right across from the refrigerator, we have a dinette. And I would say, you know, this is really a two-person dinette. It's not really a four-person. Even though this camper can sleep five people, you're really only going to be able to seat two people here at the dinette. But, you know, it's a nice spot to sit and relax. You have a nice big window over top. And then you have all of these storage compartments overhead. And they're just a really neat design. They're easy to use. You just push them and they pop open. Very, very well done. The table itself can drop down and then this does become a bed as well. At the very back of this camper, you have bunk beds set up, one on top, one down below. One really nice feature about both of these bunk beds is that they do each have their own window. They also have reading lights and the bottom bunk also has USB ports as well. So here I am jumping inside the shower and in this particular trailer, they actually have a wet bath in here. Now this is a smaller trailer and to maximize space, they've gone ahead and put a wet bath in, which means that your toilet and your shower and your sink are all in one room together. The advantage is that you save space inside your trailer. Downside is when you're done taking a shower, you kind of have to wipe the whole bathroom down. So if you use the bathroom to go to the bathroom, it's not all wet. Otherwise, you end up tracking water in and out of the trailer and all through your all through your trailer. So anyway, come on in, let's check it out. So here I am standing inside the shower and you know, there's a decent amount of space in here just sort of moving around. Uh, overhead though, there's only an inch over my head and I'm 5'11", so that gives you about six feet in here. And if I stand in the skylight, 
there's maybe four inches over my head. So if you're taller than 6'3", you're definitely going to be crouching down inside of this shower. But again, it's a wet bath and it's a smaller camper, so it, it does tend to work. Now up top here, you've got a couple of shelves, one for storing shampoo and soap and things, and the other is a towel bar. But wait a minute, there's no shower head in here. Maybe I'll just pull this and see what happens. <laughs> this is your shower head inside of this, and it's it only comes out so far, so you know you kind of have to duck down to use it to wash your hair. I think you might sit on the toilet. You might even sit on the toilet and do it. Yeah, I wouldn't do that, but some people might. I would stand up and take my shower. But hey, if you want to sit here, it's very convenient. For me, I'd be standing here going like this. And Susan would tell me I'm crazy. But anyway, it's a neat design. I've never seen that design before, but it's another great way to save space inside of the bathroom. Uh, it also comes with a real door for the shower door, which is fantastic. You don't have any curtains to deal with or any of that stuff. A lot of times inside of a wet bath, there's also an inside curtain that you have to move around inside the wet bath so it covers the door so water doesn't go out. But with them having a real shower door on here, you don't have that issue. And as far as the elbow test goes, well, there's no way it's gonna pass the elbow test, but there is plenty of room in here for all your bathroom time needs. So outside of this travel trailer, there's four really nice features that I wanna show you. First of all, this is one of the smaller trailers that actually comes with dual axles, which is great because you can carry more stuff, you get much more stability. It also gives you a higher ground clearance so you can go off-road, it's a much sturdier frame, and you can go boondocking anywhere you might like to go. And these Black Series are really, really built to handle that as well. Can't see it from here, but up on the roof, these units do come standard with solar panels as well, so you can recharge your battery while you're out boondocking and keep everything functioning. One other really nice feature, and we always try to cook outside when we go camping, and Black Series has an outdoor kitchen as well, so you don't have to use the inside kitchen. Now the big advantage to that is, is when you're cooking, it creates a lot of humidity. And so that's why we don't cook inside of our camper or very sparingly. We don't want all that humidity inside of our camper, which can create mold and moisture and humidity inside. And the inside. smells. And the smells too. You know, the smells get captured in all of the fabric inside your RV. So if you have fabric, dinette, recliners, bedding, whatever, eventually, uh, the smells can get captured and all that material over time. There's one more feature we need to take a look at and we'll take a look at that right now. And finally, you have pass-through storage in the front of the camper. Hey guys, if you liked our video, we hope you'll take a second, smash that subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell when you do, so you'll be notified every week when Susan and I put out a new video. And if you'd like to see some more campers that are perfect for families of five, just click the box down below and check out our video called Three Small Campers with Different Bunk Bed Layouts.